Test your knowledge. Join Traders Academy today. Investors may want to know the impact on their margin value in the event they want to change positions from day to day. To do this, TWS users can open IB Risk Navigator and look at the Margin Sensitivity tab to judge the impact on initial and maintenance margin values from increasing or reducing part of their holdings. In part, margin requirements are influenced by the riskiness of the security, portfolio concentration and composition. What investors are charged in margin terms is also influenced by the account type they hold. In this example, we are looking at a portfolio margin account. To contrast margin requirements for your portfolio under different account structures, use the Settings drop-down menu and select Reference Margin Type to select from the list of available alternatives. Let's display using a What If portfolio in IB Risk Navigator, for example, a 10 security portfolio containing random holdings of shares in each stock. Let's focus on changing margin requirements only for shares in Apple, ticker AAPL, in which the portfolio contains exactly 100 shares. At the top of the page, you can see the net liquidation value, which in this example is also the same as the gross value of all positions. Also displayed in the Trader Dashboard are values for maintenance and initial margin required to support the portfolio. IB checks the value for initial margin at the time of trade entry and will only execute transactions if there is sufficient available equity to meet this value. Once executed, margin immediately falls back to the maintenance margin value. Note we are currently looking at the Equity tab. If we want to see the required change in maintenance margin, click on the Margin Sensitivity tab to the right. This tab still shows the current positions, but the columns to the right allow users to see what would happen for increases and decreases in the number of shares held. Note the radio buttons next to the Position Increment label. Users can vary the change by in position by checking one of these buttons. Using the Order Defaults button, only applies changes on the basis of order presets that you may have already programmed by asset or to individual stocks. Clicking the Overall button enables users to enter a number of shares in the input field to the right, which will be universally applied across all positions. Checking the Position Size button will compute margin changes by number of shares entered on the Equity tab when the page is refreshed. We have to tab between the Equity and Margin Sensitivity tabs, and you'll notice me frequently using the Refresh button whenever I make a change. Using the IB Risk Navigator, note that it is possible to use the Include-Exclude function to determine which positions are counted in the calculation. To remove one position, simply deselect. With all positions included on the Equity tab, making sure the page has been refreshed, we can see the net liquidation value and corresponding margin values. Now move to the Margin Sensitivity tab. Hover over the ticker symbols, click right, and select Expand All table. Using the Position Size radio button, you can now see initial and maintenance requirements needed to support a 100 share increase with respect to the current holding for Tickle Apple and for the other positions held in the portfolio as the, those holdings are changed by the existing position amount. Let's see what happens to those requirements in the event that we reduce the positions to just five by deselecting some tickers from the Equity tab. You can quickly see the overall margin requirements by refreshing the page. But notice what happens when we look at the Margin Sensitivity tab with only five positions. Again, refresh the page but see what impact it has on the required margin for ticker AAPL, if we add the same 100 shares under this scenario. Finally, let's isolate ticker AAPL by deselecting everything but AAPL on the Equity tab, and again, checking the margin numbers. 
by refreshing the equity tab, you can see the margin requirements for holding only 100 shares in AAPL. On the margin sensitivity tab, you can see how the single concentration has increased the margin requirement dramatically. 